tunatumia akili kidogo nataka tutumie akili kidogo acha nichikoma pito mimi si nishani nataka tufundishane ni kweli mama yako ni kweli lakini maandiko yanasema tutumie nini come and believe ukikuta ule mtoto wako mkubwa ameiba ni mwisi ameiba kitu ya jirani utafanyaje <laughs> watu kama unataka kumuona baba niangalie mimi yoyote amemuona baba ame, ame yoyote ameniona ameona baba yoyote anawaambia ni, ni maneno ya baba yoyote anafanya ni baba yeye ndio the image of the invisible god asante sikiza kwa hivyo sikiza 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 hapo please please, please. ni sikiza hapo kwa hivyo ukimuona yesu umemuona nani yeye ni moja yeye ndio hiyo neno yeah yeye ndio hiyo neno ya baba ilifanyika mtu ukimuona yesu umemuona nani umemuona baba kwa hivyo isa subiri 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 baba subiri ukitua yesu umetua baba subiri kwa hivyo ukimuona yesu umemuona nani umemuona baba ukimjua yesu umemjua nani umemjua baba kwa hivyo yesu alipokamatwa kwa imani yenu atawekwa msalabani aliyewekwa msalabani ni nani ni mungu Baba Mungu yuko juu ya nini? Sikiza nilikwambia kitu moja. Nilikwambia kitu moja. Mungu yuko juu ya nini? Ni neno. Ile neno. Ile neno ilikuwa juu. Kama wewe hauwezi nao, hauwezi kataa nao. Kwa hiyo ndio naongea. Ile Mungu aliongea neno dunia ikakuwa. Ile neno aliongea ndio ilikuwa mtu. Na huyo mtu ndio akaenda msalabani. Alisomea Timotheo wa anza hata utakayemalizie. Mimi nataka umalize mpaka yaadiniwe. Nisomee tu andiko moja na sita. Yeye I promise. Colossians 1:1. I promise. I promise. Nasomea nasoma tu I promise sita sita ongea tena na wacha mike. Nisomee Biblia kwa Biblia yako. Nisomee Timotheo wa kwanza 2:5. Na utaanza kusoma hapo. Utasoma na kuachia mike naweka chini naondoka. Hata mimi naondoka. Ah ah. Mimi nataka uongee ndio nimekudhurumu. First Timothy atudhulumia. First Timothy 2:5. Timothy 2:5. Ah, 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 ah. Na siongei tena. Unanieleza tu andiko na siongei tena na acha mike mwenyekiti yako wapi? Isionekane nimezuluma. First Timothy. First Timothy chapter 2:5. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man that man Jesus Christ kuna tu Mungu mmoja na mtu yeyote ule mmoja tu anatutetea Yesu Kristo mwana Mungu. Rudia tena. Jamani mnaona anabadilisha maandiko? Hapana, sababu I was shamed of your own Bible. Sikiza. Rudia tena. For there is one God. For there is one 
Na nilikwambia Yesu ni Mungu kwa nini yeye ni neno? Maandiko achana na imani yako mimi sina shida nayo. My biggest problem with the scripture the scripture inspires faith but you cannot use faith to inspire the scripture it has never happened in the face of the world it has never you cannot use your faith to inspire the scripture no. the scripture inspires you in faith that is english my friend there is one god for there is one god and one mediator and one mediator hakuna njia nyingine between god and man between man Christ Jesus. So the mediator between God and man is Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus Christ? Who is who is God? He is the word of God. Ile neno that verse that verse is a So we say the man Christ Jesus. So the mediator between man and God is a man called Jesus. Yoni the man vile alikuwa na mwili. Kwa maana nilikwambia angekuta 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 kama Mungu ungemuona lakini alichukua mwili. Good my friend. There is only one God and mediator between God and man is Jesus Christ of the man, eh, man called Jesus Christ. So Jesus is mediator between man God and man. God and man. Hakuna njia nyingine. So there is God and there is Unaona pale kwa kiti cha enzi ndio ulisoma. Ulisoma pale kwa unajua ni discussion po eh. Kwa ile ulisoma kwa kuwa aliona Yesu amekaa mtu wa mwenye kiti mitai si. Aliona mimi sitaongea. Aliona kiti hapo. Kristo kwa hivyo itasema Yesu ndiye Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa hivyo ni njia ya kumfikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Hivyo ndio mimi najua. Hao yana akili sana. Unaona eh? Sasa tutakuomba tu baadaye kufundishe bidi vizuri alafu sasa uingie katika njia hizo. Basi sasa uko katika njia. Shalisikia vizuri eh? Washa bana akili sana. Kwa hivyo Islam nafikiri eh adhan karibu ya tendio sahi hakuna ndugu yetu mmoja huwa anakuja hapa anaitwa Zakaria. Zakaria akosi hapa kijana kile wengi tunamjua. Alikuwa anaomba waislamu kwamba ako na mambo yake ni magumu. Kwa hiyo alikuwa anaomba tumfanyie al-Fatiha. Kwa hiyo Muislamu kama ndugu yako amekuomba dua, unam unamfanyia dua. Inakuwa vizuri. Kwa hiyo Islam wote ambao tumehudhuria hapa, najua kuna watu ambao eh wanamka kiamu leli kuna watu wengine hizo si kuna watoto kufanyia <tos> Asiye mwingine rafiki yule alikuwa hapo. Ah, huyo alitikata bana. Haya, basi kama muhadhara inshallah kesho baada ya asri ndio itaendelea. Sasa hizi tunaenda kusali. Ndugu zangu, tusifanye pale mkutano mwingine baada ya muhadhara. Muhadhara umekwisha tuendeni msikitini. Tusiweke tena muhadhara mwingine. Hakuna muhadhara baada ya muhadhara. Asalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.